In this video, we want to plot a normal distribution with a specific mean and a standard deviation like this in Python programming language. So first of all, we should import three packages. So I import the NumPy package as NP, and also I want to import the matplotlib package, which is used for plotting. So I simply type import matplotlib.pyplot as a PLT, and I simply type from scipy, which is a package for doing scientific stuff in Python, and I use the stats section. So from the scipy package, I want to to use the stats section of this package and I want to import the norm which basically means the normal distribution that's it and now I want to define two variables the mean of our normal distribution which I want to for example pass 1000 and the standard deviation of our normal distribution which I want to pass for example 5 and now in order to plot something like this first of all we should define the x-axis and for the x-axis, I want to consider mean minus 4 a standard deviation and mean plus 4 a standard deviation. And maybe you ask why 4 a standard deviation? Because approximately all the normal distribution will fall between these two bounds. But remember that you can use other bounds as well. For example, maybe you want to use, for example, mean minus 5 a standard deviation and mean plus 5 a standard deviation or whatever bound you want. But I want to use the 4 a standard deviation and I suggest you to do so as well. So here I simply type x is equal to n p dot linus space and i'm going to talk about what do i mean by linus space so you should wait a minute so first of all i should define the lower bound which is mean minus four times the standard deviation and the upper bound is mean plus four times the standard deviation and i want to generate for example 1000 numbers between these two bounds and linus space basically means linear space it means that we want to generate 1000 numbers between these two bounds with linear space, I mean with equal space. Then we want to define our normal distribution, so I simply type y is equal to norm, which you can see we have imported here, so that's it. And this norm distribution has two parameters. The first one is the location parameter, which is basically the mean of our normal distribution, so I pass the mean variable, which we have defined here. And the other parameter is the scale parameter, which is basically the standard deviation of our normal distribution. And now in order to plot the normal distribution for each value in the x-axis, I want to calculate the corresponding value in the normal function, which this normal function is technically called probability density function. So now I simply type dot PDF, it means probability density function, and I pass X, which basically means for each value in the X axis, I want to calculate the corresponding value in the normal function, which is technically called probability density function. Then I want to plot all the stuff, so I simply type PLT dot plot, and I want to pass X and Y, and the color I'm going to use is blue, and I simply type PLT dot show in order to show the chart. So if I run a code, you can see here's the result. But also let's add this vertical line and this annotation as well. So first of all, let's add this vertical line, which you can see it is placed at the mean position. So here I simply type plt dot ax v line, which basically means a line which is vertical and it is along the axis and it is going to be placed at the mean position. And the line style, ls means line style, the line style is going to be dashed and the color, the color is going to be light gray. So if I run a code, you can see now we have this light gray line as well. But now let's add this annotation, which is technically called legend. So in order to do so, here I should pass another argument, which is called label, so that's it. And I want to use an f string in order to do so. I want the mu character, because I want to type mu is equal to this, comma, sigma is equal to that. So I simply search for the mu character in Google, and I can copy this. And here I simply paste it and I simply type is equal to the mean variable and comma. And I want the sigma character as well. So I search lower sigma character in Google and I want to copy this. And here I simply type sigma is equal to the standard deviation variable. And finally, I should simply type plt.legend in order to show the legend. So once again, if I run a code and if I maximize the result, you can see here is the result, which you can see we have the vertical line and also the annotation. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.